Please ring the dinner bell. Okay. Why would I want to super modify my perfectly uh, good doorbell and make it part of the Internet of Things? Well, for one, it could send me an alert when someone pushed the button, or I can send it custom ringtones, especially um, one of the, the big applications is it's kind of centrally located and if our kids are upstairs running around, we could scream at the top of our lungs and they don't hear us, but they hear the doorbell. So we can send a custom jingle to the doorbell and they know that they're supposed to come. So it's basically works like a regular doorbell, but it sends data to my MQTT server um, whenever the button is pressed and I can send uh, custom uh, jingles to it. So. So, test client. I also have just the bells. So you could do something custom if you wanted to. For starters, I prototyped on the bench. <clears throat> I have a USB to serial. It's like an FTDI uh, converter. And this little uh, blue board here, I built this specifically for programming this type of uh, ESP8266 module. You snap it in there. A um, couple convenient things is when you're going to program, you have to disconnect the power hold down to short out ground, uh, short out pin zero, then when you power on it's ready for you to load it. So <clears throat> I use that all the time for those guys. Then the second part is, uh, well, let's put it back into normal mode. After I prototyped on the bench I moved uh, and I built the board and I actually took the doorbell down and brought it into the garage because <laughs> It was a little too much to expect me to try to hack this thing while it was hanging up where it belongs. So, so a couple things to note. I have this little box I built. Basically, it's just AC power on a switch and some alligator clips. That's helpful for uh, testing when you're do doing AC power. So. The doorbell runs on 24 volts AC, which is pretty much not usable by any electronics. Um, we still need that AC to run the solenoids. They're, these are the four solenoids that come out and smack the, or the bells. Um, normally how this thing worked is there's actually a, like a motor here and it must be running a wiper around and making contact. The wires came out the back and I actually just cut them off right here and I brought them over here and plugged them into my board. So since it's 24 volts AC, you can't really switch that using a transistor. You really need a relay. Um, so these are tiny little 5 volt uh, relays. Um, but you really don't want to power a relay directly from the, the sensitive I.O. from your microcontroller. So, microcontroller through a 10K resistor, they're all in there. So through a 10K resistor uh, powers the transistors who can easily power the relays. Now the relays, whenever the coil energizes and the coil um, uh, unenergizes can uh, induce some destructive um, interference and current on your 
power system, so, oh, by the way, it's just five volts, a little USB five volt uh, power thing, that's how I'm gonna hook it up there. So, there's a diode, you can see there's a diode in reverse to try to cut off some of that noise, there's a, a um, capacitor to try to help with the noise, and then I even added a choke which I'm not sure if that helped much, but anyway, I'm just going to leave it on there. All right, so I added several different bells on here. I'll just show you the first one. I called it Chime 1. I'm going to publish. So basically for this demonstration, I've got, I've got the regular doorbell hooked up, but this is the same exact code running in this one. So it shows how I was prototyping here on the breadboard trying to get it all right so the lines come in the discrete lines come in from our ESP8266 they come in you don't want to directly connect them to a load so you're going through this uh, 10k to, through this 1k resistor to switch on the transistors um, the transistors are actually hooked to ground with all these green green wires because they like to so when the power comes into the base that current can go straight to ground unrestricted and that turns it on so the part that gets switched is up here so this is my load this is the LED that's going to show me that the transistor turned on I've got a little uh, resistor to uh, reduce the current of the light and then that's going over to the anode of the transistor. I'm not going to go into great detail about the code, but um, go over here and uh, we're going to clear all the messages. Let me go. I'm going to manually. I'm going to hold the camera in my mouth. Hang on. Ah, oh, oh. Oh. Mm. So that's the push button on the front of the house. You can see that comes in so I can extend my network here and then um, the code real quick basically we're using pub sub client you could throw this on an Arduino or a TI launchpad easy stuff um, so you just need to fill out this information here with your password the SSID of your access point for Wi-Fi I authenticate to my MQTT uh, server. So here are the pins. We connect and subscribe and basically we evaluate what does the message say. If it says chime 1, I run the subroutine called chime 1, which is right here. It's basically just turning the, the discrete, the relay on and off. And you've got delay in here. So you can change the speed of the the tone, the speed of the bells, 